Hey there, welcome back. So it looks like I have to get the FAMAS again. But yeah, I'm back. And now we are gonna pick up where I left off. Just do not trigger the lasers and we're good. Oh, he's going that way, go this way. That's a four, that's a three, and that is a five. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, no. I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. <laughs> God damn it, wrong button. Quickly, 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 please! Okay. Go back to one. Okay, I keep pressing square for things when it's circle. My bad, my bad. I swear I've played this game before. Let's see what do you have to say. Oh wait, that number doesn't exist. The DARPA chief and President Baker. Oh, so now never mind, it's the same thing. All right, we're going to find, oh, the nuclear facility. And what level is this? Five, yeah, I'm not going through there. And that is a level, oh, wait, I can go in here? the suppressor for the SOCOM. Where's the suppressor? Is it already equipped? Oh, yep, it is. Nice. I just had to snap a guy's neck for it, but nice. Oh, there's a guy over there. There's one thing Metal Gear games do well is the music is really good. There's no door that way, right? No. Wait. Oh, it's level two. Cool. Don't think there's anything in here. I'm gonna move forward. Oh, I finally got a cardboard box. To heliport. Okay. Go, 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 go. Ooh, I actually made it in here in time. Okay. A mine detector?
Alright, you might be useful. See you later. I got this. I got this. Yes, I almost died. Was it worth it? No. I got a mine detector, and that's all at the moment. If I can get more, uh, let's see, the basement one dead end. There's nothing there for me. Basement two, I might be able to do something there, maybe. You know, I'll probably have to go back to basement too. Oh, I just went back outside. I don't think there's anything outside for me. There's nothing outside for me. Let's not do this. <laughs> okay. So I thought this will lead me back downstairs, but it actually is the other entrance. Basically, the fastest entrance and the best one to take it being in the game is the left side vent because it's already downstairs and it's right there next to the elevator. Meanwhile, this one you have to walk by camera near the stairs where there's two guards. One downstairs, one upstairs. But having a SOCOM suppressor is really nice. On top of that, I can now hold more SOCOM bullets, I think. So I used to only be able to hold 25, now it's 49, which is nice. Oh, there's an item over there. Is that a ration? I'll take it. I just used one. I'm already here. I'm gonna have to deal with my consequences and my actions and blah, blah, blah. Was that level four? Okay. This is a Metal Gear Two. You can't hide in lockers and all this and that. Yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna check basement one out. I don't think there's anything for me at basement one, but I wanna check basement one out. I'd rather... Also, we're looking for Meryl. Yeah, one second. I'm almost over my COVID sickness, but I'm still sick a little bit. All right, that is a uh, level three, I believe. Level six, even worse than I thought, okay. Yeah, there's nothing here apart from that level six. Yeah. Go. Nothing's here for me. So what I need is on level two. It is on basement two somewhere. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. My bad. Yeah, I remember. It's been forever since I played Metal Gear 1. Like, a while. I actually want to find a level one room and get more C4. Uh, chaff grenades and stun grenades, which are great. Excellent. We gotta hurry up and leave. Actually, what's this door? Oh, yeah, I'm not going in there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, it just hit me what I have to do. No, no, it really did just hit me. He has saved my game. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. I know, I know, Mei Ling. It just hit me what I need to do. Be careful, Snake. All right, uh, is there a way to leave the game? No, not escape. I'm gonna, I'll F4. You're gonna watch me do all this because this is actually kind of important. I'm gonna have to boot up the game. I just remembered. I don't care about these. All right. Oh, uh, we recommend that. No, 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 no. Um. Ah, online manual. One second, I gotta read this. 140.15. There, that's what that's what they mean. It's on the back of the disc. It's on the back of the game disc. Oh, I was gonna run around for hours until I remembered, but I just remembered it. Thank God I. Okay, 140.15. This is why we quit the game, to get that code, 140.15. I am happy I remember that. I would have been furious if I've been running around for hours trying to figure that out again. Luckily, my brain's like, wasn't there a thing on the back of the game disc? And that's what they're talking about, the disc? No. 140.15. That is Meryl's number, 140.15. I can't believe I remembered that, and I didn't even look it up, I swear, people. 140.15. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? 
No, their beautiful, compassionate eyes. How just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry, you'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither, yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes, is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Ah. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. 
Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Oh, okay. I'm happy I did that. I would have been furious running around trying to figure out what I need to do. By the way, those trapdoors are insta kills. Don't, um. <laughs> to redo the call, aren't I? Yep. In any case, you... Yeah, just saw that coming. Who are you? All right, time to tap X a lot. And the music should be hitting in a second. Now. Laugh, 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 and I'm not redoing that. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. I got a little impatient, that's on me. I'm very happy I remembered that though. Yeah, so basically that's the game's way of having anti-piracy measures is having a cheeky little codec message Snake, I unlocked on the, cargo the door for cover you. of the game. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Oh boy. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You just sensors. told me. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Oh, I have my way. Also, let me call Campbell and let him know I found you. It looks like the place is protected by infrared sensors. Somehow you'll have to make it past the beams. All right, let me call Mei Ling. I want to save before I do this. What can I do for you, Snake? I want to save, so I don't have to redo these calls. Oh, I'm... Snake, in China, they say, you must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad bread. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy. 
I hate to say, I don't use my brain much, as people probably noticed. Oh, whoops, I mean hit that. I meant to actually unequip the cigarettes and do a mindy. Oh, no, it's actually a level two door, I think. Oddly enough, a level two is after a level five. Ah, smoking, it saves lives. If there's infrared sensors in front of you. Now, if I remember correctly, there's mines out here, so actually, let me. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. You say there's a tank ready to ambush me, but there's none down here. Thank you, I'll take it. I mean, I might as well take these. You never know if they'll come in handy. How many Claymores can I hold? Six. Oh, wait. Natasha. That area is mined? After you locate the mines on your radar, crawl forward and retrieve them. Anti personnel mines have killed over 20,000 non combatants in the past 30 years. In countries like Cambodia and Nicaragua, the killing and maiming of innocent victims continues long after the wars have ended. It is easy to plant mines, you see, but removing them is a different matter. It requires more time and manpower than anyone is willing to invest. The superpowers need to donate more mine detectors and other equipment to remove them. It is the least we could do after laying them. Master? Master, does the name Deep Throat mean anything to you? Deep Throat? What? You mean the guy from Watergate? No, but he uses the same name. Whoever he is, he's not part of our operation, but he's been giving me advice by Kodak. What? On top of that, he wasn't using burst transmission. It seems he was transmitting from somewhere on this base. Somewhere on the base? Yes. I have no idea who that could be. I see. Colonel, I got a Kodak call from someone outside this operation. I know. We were monitoring the call. Mei Ling knows everything about the communication system, so let me have her explain it to you. Well, if somebody knows your frequency, they can call you. But the question is, how did he learn it? It's top secret information. So you mean someone leaked the information? That's the only explanation I can think of. Mei Ling, do you know where that transmission originated from? I'm sorry. The radio waves were too weak to locate their source, but I'm sure he's near you, somewhere on the base. Snake. You'll have to go through the minefield to advance. All right. Let me just get this mine. All right, we got all the claymores. Actually, have I talked to her about stun grenades? I like getting tips. Those are stun grenades. They are often used in sensitive operations such as freeing hostages and that sort of thing. Sometimes they are called flash bangs or sound and flash grenades. They make a big flash and lots of noise, which will disorient and disable your opponents temporarily. You have to understand that they won't kill the bad guys, but just stun them for a few seconds. Use them wisely. Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm. Oh. So she might have been right about that thing. Or he. Whatever deep throat is. Oh, 
common suits, probably. This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. What about Send liquid snake? Him a message. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Snakes don't belong in Alaska, and yet you follow the orders of a guy named Liquid Snake. Actually, that's a really good idea. Thank you, me. Okay. Say. There should be some way. Ask Nastasha. She knows everything there is to know about weapon systems. Okay. That M1 tank is equipped with advanced Victronics. Once it locks onto a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. To get close, you'll have to confuse a tracking Chaff system. Grenade. Use your chaff. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic systems. Oh, Natasha, you're a beautiful woman. Thank you. Oh, why did I think of chaff? All right. Thanks. I. Did I run out already? Oh, that's quick. Alright, chaffing. Ah! 
not gonna lie, probably best I died. Oh, I'm gonna have to redo the mines though, aren't I? Alright. I deep throw. Yep, 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 water gate, all that. Yep, yep. I swear I'm better at Metal Gear 2, I'm just not the best at Metal Gear 1. If I need it, it's right there. number two down oh it's a level three key card well boss I hope you are happy you got the card we'll play with him a little longer you would be wise not to underestimate him what did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. See? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Su means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Okay. Yeah, oh, my health got increased. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, level three key card. Any buttons or anything here? No. Okay, there's a camera. A truck, soldier, camera up there. Okay. 
I want to go back and use the key card. Mm, but now nah, we'll keep moving forward. Oh, yeah, what's the Colonel got to say? Snake, you've got to rescue Dr. Emmerich, the Metal Gear engineer. He's probably being held prisoner in the second floor basement of the Warhead storage building. Okay. Well, that was worth calling them. Oh. Oh, there's two guys and a camera. Oh, three guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, never mind. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. Why not? I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes Ooh, have had their detonation the mechanisms after. removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Well, I can. Yep. All right, Natasha, what do you say? Snake, that is a nuclear warhead storage area. Are all these filled with nuclear warheads? Yes, but their detonation mechanisms have been removed. So I don't have to worry about this island turning into a pile of smoking rubble. No, but if the casing is damaged, they may be leaking nuclear materials. Please, make sure you do not use your gun around there. Alright, so I'm officially... Yeah, I got chaff. I might as well equip it, you never know. What level is that door? Can't see really. Wait, they have weapons? I mean, yes, they have weapons, and then that happens. You know what? Army really wants to go back and open those level three doors because you never know what they hold. Also, I'll take the extra grenades and I'm gonna put the mine detector on in case I missed any. Also, let's put my SOCOM on. And now, and now it's time to smoke. All right, cigarettes, 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 cigarettes. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. Wait for it. All right. Holy cow, I'm just going for it right now. Go, 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 go. Don't let him see me. Alright, this should be a quick detour. I just want to open the level 3 doors that are here. Level 5. 
Level one. Level three. Nice. I got an Ikea launcher. I'm gonna call Natasha. Those are remote controlled miniature reconnaissance missiles, sometimes called Nikita missiles. They've got CCD cameras in their nose cones. After you fire them, they'll transmit their visual data to your monitor. You can control their flight freely in all directions. But the missiles have a limited amount of fuel. Watch the gauge carefully. Press the first person view button to see the missile's visual data. Use them wisely. I remember using these guys in Metal Gear 2, especially for the one where you have to shoot off the electric floor to save that guy. Goodbye. That's a level 2. No, I already been here. That's C4. <laughs> That's a level five, I believe. No, four. That's a level one. I think we're good here. Then there's that one room, uh, but I don't think I can open that. Okay. We came back for an Akita launcher, which might have its uses. Not yet, though. And the uh, basement one was a level five card key, so we're going back to base. We're going back to the first floor. We're going back outside for our blue tank, and we are hunky dory. Go go. Okay. All right, back to smoking. Beautiful. Like I said, smoking saves lives. When that you're in a room with that fills you with gas if you trip an infrared laser. And well, I'm just double checking, making sure the mines are gone. They are, okay. But if you wanna see what the Nikita launcher looks like, I would shoot it, but I only get so many bullets. Basically, you can go first-person mode, control where it goes. It's quite neat. I swear, once I actually get the Metal Gear 2, my skills really increase. Metal Gear 1 takes a little getting used to if you play Metal Gear 2 and 3 a lot. Oh, man. Metal Gear 3 is really good, but I love Metal Gear 2. I can I equip that. We have three rations. I'm saving the game, so I don't have to redo any of that. What's up, Snake? I want to save the game. How's it going, Snake? Have you gotten used to using the radar yet? Yeah, it's a great system. Not only can I read the topography, but I can monitor the movement of the bad guys, too. Pretty convenient, huh? It also makes it easy for us to see everything that you're doing. You're watching everything? Of course. If you were my boyfriend, you'd never be able to cheat on me. Being monitored 24 hours a day, that'd be like hell. Don't think of it like that. At least you'd never get lost. Uh, don't, okay, don't cheat on her. Got it. <laughs> All right, and now we're back here. Nothing in the truck. Damn. Why am I up here? There's nothing up here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm in trouble. I'm 
damn it. So glad that doing hard mode. Okay, so there's nothing over there but bullets, which, as nice as bullets are, they're extremely useless in this moment. I was hoping there's something in the back of the truck, because that's where I got that really good item originally, my SOCOM. Alright, we got chaff grenades, which honestly. Probably going to use a few of the. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. That is how you do it, baby. Ooh! You throw a trap, ball them. Man, if I was trying to perfect this, that's the route you want to take. Okay, okay. I actually do wish I grabbed those bullets now. That's the woman's restroom. I'm going in there. Damn it. That's a level three door, which I can go in. Oh no. Just gonna let him do his thing. He has no idea how close to death he was. He, oh boy, I was about to just choke him and break his neck. We're not going there yet. We're not going there yet. Oh. Because he's out of the bathroom. Oh wait, is he actually coming back out? Oh. Thing is, I choked him out. Uh. 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 Ooh, I'll take some Pumas. Yes. I mean, I'm not using that gun, probably not for a while. That gun is emergency only. Okay. Level fours. There's a guy right there. Now, is it his turn to go to the bathroom? shot he knows I'm here uh, or not I am extremely rough in Metal Gear 1 man oh, one of these days I'll be good at this game oh 
I have an idea. And it's a hilarious idea. Okay. Hear me out. I am going to die now. I am an idiot. I was gonna shoot the rocket and show you how they're used, but. Snake! 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 I am not talking about this. Oh. <laughs> I suck at this game. Uh, Again, I got Thomas bullets. That's how the, that is working. There you go. I finally showed you how they work. Oh, he dropped me some. Ooh, more from us. That's a level four. Let me go in here and get more Nikita shells. Thank you. Honestly, I'd like some uh, SOCOM shells. Thank you. That actually makes me happy. It's level six. That's all four. Okay. One of these holds something really good, I believe. Fine, don't let me in. Jeez. I, I didn't even have to be on this floor. I just wanted to explore. Well, I'm full up on the key to shells, which is great. Alright, the B2. We gotta save him. Yep, this is why you need, I grab. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing I grabbed it. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. I am better, I swear. It's just sometimes I'm hit with a cough. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. I can tell. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Colonel, I got a codec call from someone. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I never told them about that before because I restarted my game. All right, it's time for Nikita Shell. No, keep going. Keep going. Right there. And. Oh, yeah. I love my Nikita shells. Oh, they're fun. Looks like a chaff grenade place. Let's go. Ooh, ration. You know what? Let's just do this now. Oh, wonderful. Oh, not wonderful.
Alright, let's get out of here. I'm about to die. I'm pushing my luck just getting random bullets. Alright, let me just throw this one more. Beautifully done. Mwah, that room. Excellent. It's not good. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. I should have saved it. Soldiers that have been forged in the fires of battle are used to catching naps whenever and wherever they can. There's a big difference between real soldiers and those kids who have only been trained in VR simulators. After playing for a long time, you should get some rest too. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Uh, uh Yeah, no, I'm gonna call Mei Ling. What's up, Snake? Uh... Soldier guy, stealth camouflage, murdered entire hallway of soldiers. Snake, have you ever heard the saying, friendly counsel cuts off many foes? Nope. It means that a little bit of advice from friends can save you a lot of trouble. You should think about it. If you're in trouble or if you need some information about something, please contact Colonel Campbell or someone else, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if an invisible ninja guy was about to kill me, I'd probably would pee my pants too. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. No! Ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. 
I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. I need to equip my rations. Bravo, Mr. Ninja. You know what? You're right. I understand. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Hey, Colonel, would you have to say about this? If you have a question about members of Foxhound, you should ask Naomi. I'm sorry, but there's no one in Foxhound like that. There are currently only six members of Foxhound. Psycho Mantis, Sniper Wolf, Balkan Raven, Decoy Octopus, Revolver Ocelot, and finally Liquid Snake. Genome soldiers under his command are next generation special forces. Foxhound is intended to be a small number of highly elite hand-picked soldiers. You're talking about the current Foxhound, right? Yes. Snake, who or what is that thing? Is he an enemy or not? That's what I'd like to know. Naomi, you really don't have any idea? Maybe I should ask you the same thing. What? Nothing. Forget about it. Look at him move. He must have some kind of powered exoskeleton. Powered exoskeleton? You mean like prosthetic arms and legs? No. Prosthetics are intended to replace original body parts. That ninja's exoskeleton makes him far stronger than any normal human. He is a true cyborg, a cybernetic organism. So he's half machine, huh? I heard rumors about the experiments, but I had no idea that such a creature really existed. Mm. All right. <laughs> Mister? Holy cow. I'm... Oh, he just keeps doing that kick at me. Nope. Oh! <laughs> oh drop kick! without cheating. Only a wimp uses chap grenades. This is a fight of honor. And he's kicking my face. Are there more rations if I need them? Aha, okay. Keep moving, don't stop moving. Stay away from him. Keep moving. Oh. Oh. We both win. Oh, he dodged. Nice. Beautiful dodge. Oh, you're dodging me. You're good. Oh. I saw that coming. Nope. Drop kick. Oh, he's... Okay, he's backing up. Come on. Wait, he's gonna drop kick? No drop kick. Okay. Beautiful dodge. Hit once. Oh, that's a shame. Ah. 
one looks like it wait what that's good snake <laughs> hurry up and catch me oh that's no fair now you're fighting dirty sir you're fighting dirty therefore I will Chapter name, then I'm holding the last one for desperation. I'm here, Snake. Where is he? Oh, he was there. Oh, I found him. Killed me. Okay. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. That's good, Snake. last time. I say that, I immediately corner myself. Beautiful dodge. I... Oh, wait, there's that one ration. One ration. Dropkick. He dodged. Move, move, move. We're doing fisticuffs. He dodged me. Dodge him. Oh. Really? You kidding me? Come 
Okay, I have three rations still. Move, 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 move. Oh, perfect. Drop kick. Dodging. Spin kick. My way. I stop moving too soon. God damn it. It had such a weird hitbox. It's... He's dodging. Keep moving, keep moving. That's good, Snake. Hurry up and catch me. this way. Don't stop moving. Hurry up and catch me. Left side. Like old times. I've been waiting for this pain. Wait, what? Uh, ninja's teleporting. Masochist. Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle, the clashing of bone and sinew. Oh, well. That's good, Snake. Man, I have no more rations, so I'm basically on my last try, and this is close. Keep moving, keep moving. Yes. What? Excuse me, what? I killed him! I won! 
and he instantly killed me. Okay, BS. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Good. Now we can fight this warrior. Yes, can we stop talking? Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Time to go in the try hard mode. We both whipped on that one. Nope, nope, nope. Bad, bad, bad. Stop going here. Nothing ever works out for me. Dodge the right, not the left. The left is kicks will get you. Halfway. He's This is him walking towards me. He's, yep. He is basically anime. Okay, okay. Yes, Mr. Masochist. the orb. Do not touch the orb. Yeah! 
Yes. <sighs> Beautiful. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. Oh, now she wants to talk. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. She seems to care. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. 
From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind, it's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? <laughs> Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. 
So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. <laughs> no, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. Gundam. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Give me all your I'm rations. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. 141.12. You're running pretty good for a sprained ankle. <sighs> okay. I did it. Oh. So I just saw this. Why? I'm, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to come back. I'm going to use that. The president basically ran the entire place with the arms dealers, and he only had a level three card. Doesn't make sense to me. All right. One, oh wait, what was his number again? 141.12. Wait, no, 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 no. You still haven't found Meryl? Snake. The Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? There we go. Okay, we got Otacon's number. Perfect. All right, we're saving. Oof. Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. 
That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassa like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Codex system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich, too. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know. Stanley, even if you all stopped, you all stopped building, someone will find a way. Yeah. But, on that note, I think I'm done for the day. So, yeah. Oof, got two bosses done in this episode. And, yeah, that one kicked my butt. But until then, I'll see you next time, and bye.